Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and today we are going to be milking our cow. So, our cow had a baby like a week ago or something like that. I don't know. But, so we're milking her. We're milking her two times a day, in the morning and the afternoon. Or, like, the night. Um, so, I'm going to video it, and I'm going to bring you guys along. So, yeah. Let's get on to the Three, two, one, and action. We're going to go milk a cow. Alright, so this jar right here has soapy water. It's um, just water and on guard soap that we use. And then we have a rag to wash the teats. And then, so this is the bucket that we will put the milk in. And sometimes we milk into it. But otherwise we milk into this jar and then pour it into this and then this is when after we're done milking we strain it with this and put, to just put this over the jar so it doesn't go everywhere and it's over top of that and strain the milk but this is all the stuff that we're going to need either to milk or before so this one right here that's the one that we're going to milk not have a baby and then the one way back there I don't know if you can see her it's way back there she also has a baby but. so this is the little calf of chives that we're gonna milk she um we pulled we pull her every night hi girl and her name is Annabelle hi girl We go get your mama and then she milk in the morning. Yeah. Get around. There you go. Right there. There you go. She's milking for yeah. me. <laughs> this is the easiest milking job that I get to do right yeah. now. Is when Annabelle does it for me. Oh, she just squirted milk all over. Look at that. You video? I want to put these chicks out in that pen where we just had the rooster. She squirted me a little bit ago. She squirted you too? Yeah, and the hair. Did you get the milk shot? Mm hmm. It's on a tripod too. Oh, yuck. <laughs> She is hungry. Mm -hmm. Are you hungry, Annabelle? 
Yeah. She was away from Mama all night long. Yeah. This is good though. This is so good because then she nurses good. And... Yeah. Oh, yes. You got a clean house? Oh, oh, my goodness. There you go again. We made some at home um, fly spray for our cow here. Um, being in the summer, the flies are really bad. And it's really nice. It's all natural ingredients that aren't harmful to our cow. It's just apple cider vinegar, a natural dish soap, um, olive oil, and then some essential oils. And I chose basil, rosemary, peppermint, and lavender. And so far, as you can see, it's working really well. It's keeping the flies off and keeps the animal comfortable while we're milking. And we got this recipe from Prairie Homestead, Jill Winger. And we're loving how it's working. That was empty. Honey. There you go. Yeah. That's a good one. Jam it. Jam it in there. Jam it in there, girl. I think that one's empty too, honey. Is that good? Yeah? Oh, there you go. There you go. or whatever that we wash off um, her udder with. Just soapy water. Oh, yes. That's Did we take hot. your friend? We took her friend away from her. This one feels empty. I probably won't get anything out of this one. That's the one that Annabelle that drank out of? leaking already. Yep. Annabelle drank everything out of that one, probably. We'll get these oh, that things. Leaking. That one's leaking. on there but the calf's mouth is pretty good at cleaning all the, the mud off yeah. now I just gotta get the saliva off uh, that comes off pretty good I squirted myself <laughs> all right now we get the Back corners. 
first. You might be able to see better from the back. All right. There we go. Teeth are so small, I gotta milk them with just my top two fingers. It's like strip milking. So now we're gonna feed Chai some grain. And then we're just gonna dump this in the ground in front of her. Here you go, Chai. Alright, so he's almost got jar full. Oh, and now it's a little bit empty. <laughs> well, that's why we don't do the pail. That's why we don't milk into the pail. Or why we dump before we're full. Yeah. So now, we dump this into there. And then we put the lid over top of it. Because we've had her kick poop and hay into there. And then it just... Keeps the cat milk yeah. too. Yeah. Then, then we got cat milk. Or dog. But yeah. And the jar is probably a lot easier to do to hold than the pail. Is it? Well, if you'd milk into the pail, we'd just leave the pail sitting on the ground. Oh, yeah, I guess. And then I could milk two handed. Oh, uh, which that's would, nice. And that's faster. It would cut the time down quite a bit. But try. But she's still, still learning. Kicks. And we're still learning. You'll get better, won't you, Chai? Right, honey. Yeah, you will, won't you? Yeah. Alright, so he's just gonna milk, and I'm gonna show you some of the animals. So you already saw Chai back there, and Annabelle, yeah, and the kittens, and you saw them, and the cats. And here, there is one chicken, I like only one, back there, can't really see it. And then, and then there's one here. And then you probably, I don't know if you saw these already, but these are the bunnies that we have. We have three bunnies, two are in here. And then, now the rest of the animals are outside. And I gotta try to get over this. And you saw Mia. And we have a guinea, there's a guinea. And there's another guinea. And then we have a duck. We have a call duck, but we don't know where she is. We haven't seen her all morning. So, hoping she's just laying, or laying on her eggs. Because we used to have three. Two the eagles got. Two the eagles got. And so now we only have one. And hopefully... So, yeah. Alright, so there's some chickens under the tree right now. And then these are our geese. We got geese for, for I don't know how long they are. A year or so? And geese, when they see somebody that they don't like, they don't honk. Well, sometimes they honk. But they hit. It's so weird. I never knew that geese would honk. I just thought they, or I knew that they would honk. I didn't know they would hit. All right, next thing that we have, you, I'm gonna show you guys, and you're gonna tell me, comment down below, what you think this animal is. Okay. There's one, his name is Bo. That one right there. The brownish one is Ivy, and then the one right there is Gracie. You probably all guess 
go, okay? Yeah. No, that's that's not right. Okay. Comment down below if you got this right, okay? So it is not goats. They are sheep. They are hair sheep. They are sheep. I think she. Oh, hi, Ivy. You just eat my leg. I'm sniffing it. So I'm, I'm not gonna get all these right. I guarantee it. I think she's Barbados or something. One of them's Barbados and one of them's Black Bellies and something like that. I don't know all of their names. Ivy, Bo, Gracie. Hi, Bo. Alright, but that is, I think, it's all the animals that we have outside. I don't know. I'm getting nervous because I don't see the call duck. And if we would see him, he would be quacked. They quack, like, non stop. So I hope we can find him. Because that means we have zero call ducks. So if you guys don't know what call ducks are, they are these ducks that get about, they don't have enough hands. I have to hold the camera. I want to show you. There you go. I'm going to hold it between my legs. Okay. And I hope you can see me. Okay? Yeah? They get about this big. Okay? We get that tall and that's it. And we were hoping, because we had a trio, two girls and a boy, that they would have babies. But now I don't even know if I can find the last girl that we had. We have ego problems, oh my goodness. Like last year, we literally watched them. Like we were all in the front yard, and there was um, a dead grackle, I think it was, or something, some sort of bird that was dead in the yard. And we were all outside, and the eagle came down and took it while we were all in the yard. That's a little scary. And we watched it, like, kill our chicken. Like, a chicken would just be, like, in the pasture or something. And they would literally just come down and, like, kill it. And, yeah. Hi. Her name is Brownie. Alright. Now, I'm going to go back into the barn. There's Amelia, the other calf. Oh, she's running around. Oh my goodness. Are you feeling good today? Hi, cough. Hi, coffee. She's feeling good today, huh? Huh? Oh, she's so cute. Alright, so now he's done milking. You want to strip him one more time? I'm going to try. There's not a whole lot left anymore. No, there's not much coming out. Yeah. So we got like a gallon today? Yep, after Annabelle ate. So she probably did what? She, oh, there's a little bit there more. There you go. There we go. That's about it. Alright. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to go in and strain it and we'll show you how we strain it. All right, so now we're gonna put diamond. Is that how you say it? I don't know. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna put that on her um, udder to prevent mastitis. Just uh, essential oils, mint and calendula, eucalyptus oil, uh, tea tree oil. It's all organic. How do you put that on? You squirt it in your hand. Yep. Squirt a glob in the hand like that, and then I'll massage it around the quarters, not on the teats. I'm not on the teats. No, not on the teats, just on the bag. I'm just on her udder. It smells very minty. <laughs> No, she wants to. Alright, so one squirt for this side and one squirt, squirt for, for the side. other side. Alright, then this stuff we use 
on her udder, it's just udder balm, that we put on to keep them, like, not chapped. Yep. So. Uh. And this we put on our actual udder, right? Yeah. This stuff. Those go on her teeth. On the teeth. Dynamite goes on the udder, and the udder balm goes on the teats. I'm going to wipe my hands off so I don't get a lot of that mint on her teats. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's good or not. So we put the udder balm on there now. Just looks like butter. Mm -hmm. Oh, I just jam the teats right in it. Get some on there. And I just work it into the teat. And now your hands are going to be like butter. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you get all over your hands.
A gallon. We got this is a half gallon. It's up to there. We almost got a gallon. After Annabelle. Ate. Yeah. All right. So now he, my dad is going out to put it in the freezer to get it down to temp because if you freeze it and get it down to temp like quick, because if it's warm, of course, that the milk will last longer and that's good. And then we'll just, we put it in the fridge, just like normal milk. But, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Give, please, give this video. please give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And sorry, it looks like I'm crying, but I have allergies and, like, we have hay in the barn. So, my eyes always water, so it looks like I'm crying. So, that is why my eyes are watering, so it kind of looks like I'm crying, but I'm not. But, I like, I love being out there, but my allergies are just so bad. But it's fine. But anyway, again, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel and hit the bell so you know when I post. And I think that's all. And I will see you guys on the next video. Bye.